Oh, look at this car. Pwede pumasok ka. So this is the uh, the gunner. Well, the, the both the bombardier and the navigator were gunners. Oh, so they're both up yeah, here. They do two jobs. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Well, pretty tight quarters. Yeah. Not as big as my C5. This is, what is this? Oh, for the guns. The flight engineer and the top turret. If you look at this picture here on the bulkhead, do you see that platform underneath? It was right down here and attached to the turret. He would stand on it and then put his head up there and then he controls the turret this way. Okay. I fly Cessnas. Oh. <laughs> this is more than a Cessna. Yeah. Four engines. Chances oh, wow. are your Cessna went, goes faster than this. Oh, really? Yeah. So how fast are this thing? Yeah, you, you know, there's a lot of literature and nonsense about this airplane, but I it can't talk, be that slow. I, I mean, like I, 100 I talk, ground speed? I, about a, no, a, a true airspeed, about 140. Oh, so okay. It's at altitude and trimmed out. How high does it go? It typically would cruise at 30,000. 30,000 feet? Yeah. Wow. Of course, no heat, no oxygen, no pressure. So and now, uh, compared to the new aircraft, they just press a few buttons and no, yeah. it just flies yeah, by itself. Yeah. This one is all manual. It's all very manual. Holy cow. It does have an autopilot. But, uh, yeah, but it's still. I've never seen it this close. I've seen pictures, but holy cow. Now I know why they call it the flying yeah. focus. Especially with all the guns around it. Man, no heat, nothing. That's why they wear those yeah. leather jackets. Yeah, you know, it's jackets. minus 60 at 30,000 feet. Frostbite was a huge problem all through the war. And then all the way to the back. Yeah, the railings that you see there didn't exist. That's all museum added. Okay. Their trips back and forth there were nerve wracking, to put it mildly. Like the, the radio room. Yeah. It's 
So this has a bubble too? There was on this So what's this? Okay, that's the uh, lower ball turret. We'll look inside through the door when we get off. He, he would get in here. Oh, so this one opens up? No, it opens up. The door is outside. And so after takeoff, it is rotated and put the door here. He gets in and then rotates down. Oh, okay. And he's in there for the balance of the day and does it before landing. I see those movies with this flying, the real movies, how they do this. It's incredible how they shut down the planes and yeah. everything is manual. Yeah, totally. Wow. You look at this picture right here. So did they carry like oxygen on their all the time? I mean, with that altitude, you have to have the oxygen. Yeah. So they have those tanks? No, above 10,000 feet. There was 18 of these tanks right here. Oh, okay. There was 18 of them scattered around the airplane with a dual oxygen system. So they have that on their... Yeah, okay. uh, and every, if you notice, at every location, there's an oxygen Like a book up, you just plug it in? Yeah, and then if the central system gets uh, knocked out, or if they have to move about, they can take one of these and just put it on their parachute harness and move about. And all of them have parachutes? All of them have parachutes, yeah. Yeah, I'll go down and see. Yeah, you get, get, get a good view. You get in his little escape door back there. Back there? Okay. Oh, this one? Yeah. If you stick your head in there and look out, you'll go up. Oh. Okay. Those are pretty tight quarters. Where do you see this? <laughs> oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, that's how he positioned himself? Yeah. Back's right against that strap. That's the door. I mean, I have to go, like, if I need to go potty, that's going to be tough. Can't get out. Oh, this one you're stuck. Yeah. yeah. The whole flight? Oh yeah. Sure, he can't get out. He can't wear his oxygen in there. He has to get in before 10,000 feet and hook up. And then he can't get out until the plane's back to 10,000 feet. So he's in there all day. 12, 14 hour missions? Uh, 10 hour nine missions? And a nine, half nine and a half to about 11. And we don't have air to air refueling at that time either. <laughs> yep. Yep. Wow. Well, thank you. This is a. Uh...
Thank you for Cause, coming. Yeah, because the Smithsonian, we can just see outside. This one, you yeah. you really go and touch it on the inside. Yeah, so. you'd be in prison if you did. The Smithsonian, what we just did. No, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's... This is incredible. Thank you. You bet. Thanks for coming.